Act four, scene five, starting with the soliloquy by the nurse. Mistress, what mistress? Juliet, fast, I warned her. What, not a word? You take your penny's worth now. Sleep for a week, for the next night. I warrant the Comte Paris has set up his breast, but little God, forgive me. Mary and amen. How sound is she asleep? I needs must wake her. What dressed and in your clothes and down again? Lady, 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 alas, alas, help, help, my lady's dead. Oh, where a day that ever I was born. Some strong drink, oh, my lord, my lady. What is here? Oh, lamentable day. What is the matter? Look, look, oh, heavy day. Oh, me, oh, me, my child, my only life. Revive, look up, or I will die with thee. Help, help, call help. For shame, bring Julia forth, her lord has come. She's dead, deceased. She's dead, oh, I like the day. I like the day, she's dead, she's dead, she's dead. Let me see her, out. Alas, she's cold. Her blood is settled and her joints are stiff. Life and these lips have long been separated. Death lies on her like an untimely frost upon the sweetest flower of the field. Oh, lamentable day! Oh, woeful time! Death has taken her hence to make me wet. Ties up my tongue that will not let me speak. Bride ready to go to church? <laughs> Peace, hope for shame. Confusion's cure lives not in these confusions. Heaven and yourself had part in this fair maid. Now heaven hath all, and all the better is it for the maid. Your part in her, you could not keep from death, but heaven keeps his part in eternal life. The most you sought was her promotion, for twas your heaven she should be advanced, and weep you now seeing she is advanced above the clouds as high as heaven itself? Oh, in this love you love your child so ill that you run mad seeing that she is well. She's not well married that lives married long, but she's best married that dies married young. Dry up your tears and stick your rosemary on this fair course. And, as the custom is, and in her best array, bear her to church. For though fond nature bids us all lament, yet nature's tears are reason's merriment.